Welcome to lesson four of use case analysis. In the previous lessons, we have developed a use case model and have prioritized the use cases. In this lesson, we are going to talk about how to describe a use case in more detail. A traditional approach in describing a use case is by entering the use case template, which consists of information like the preconditions, host conditions, and assumptions enforced on the use case. Let me show you how to do this in Visual Paradigm. Let's take the use case borrow box as example. Right click on the use case and select open use case details from the pop-up menu. The details tab provides several fields for you to enter for this use case. You can enter the level of the use case. There are three choices, summary, user and subfunction. Borrow box is a user goal so I just select user. Complexity. How complex is the use case? How much effort is needed in order to complete the use case? In this example, I just select high. The status of use case. There are five choices. In this case, none of the five choices fit my need, so I just enter myself. I enter prioritized. Implementation status. Whether the use case has started yet. Again, I enter the status myself. Precondition. Let me list out the preconditions of this use case. The first one, patron has an active membership. The second one, book record exists in database. Um, people often get confused with preconditions and assumptions. I will go back to this topic when I talk about assumptions. The next one, post conditions. Post condition is the state of the system after completing the use case. Over. Um, I'm the over, so I just enter my name here. Assumptions. This is an assumption. The librarian knows the process and regulation well and can independently operate the feature and deal with any exceptional cases. As I just said, people often get confused with preconditions and assumptions. Actually, there is a distinction between these two. When you're stating assumptions, you're talking about something that's out of the scope of the system. Take this use case as an example. The precondition, patron has an active membership, is a system state which can be achieved. But for the assumption, it's about the requirements of the person who operates the system. The system won't help the librarian in making any decisions when exceptional cases happen. It will just ask the librarian to respond by making a decision. Alright, this is about the end of lesson 4. An important element of traditional use case template is the flow within the use case. Visual Paradigm provides a specialized editor for editing the flows within the use case, and we will talk about this in the next lesson. See you in lesson 5. Goodbye.